very strange. I'm not sure if this will mess up or anything like that. Um, I mean, I'd like to try it in some combat situation, but I'm a little bit... A little bit scared. I that doesn't look centered to me. I should be seeing the dead... I mean, that looks alright. Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to take a look at a program called Facetrack Noir, which is a software-based track IR system using your existing webcam. So it can potentially be a very cheap alternative to track IR. I'm going to try it today with some DayZ gameplay and see how it performs. All links to Facetrack Noir will be in the description if you wish to check it out yourselves. As you can see, I've got all my settings ready in a daisy.ini file, which I'll put as a link in the description also for you to download. But I will go through these settings separately in the video for you to pause and go through yourselves if you wish to. I've said smoothing to 15, inverted my pitch and roll and X. I've only made some minor changes to make it a little bit more easier to use within Daisy and Armor. I've ticked pitch and your only, unticked the rest under face API. Skip the Excel filter, this is completely default. Go onto the free track. In there, I've made sure start dummy track IR to DXE is ticked. And then select use track IR hide free track. This is what everybody seems to be using online, so I thought I'd do it myself also. And the final thing is curves. I've made some changes to curves according to what other people have been using online. Put my yaw to 140 with a little bit of a dead zone so I can find center easier. This is on all three of these. Pitch down, pitch up, and yaw. And roll, I have taken all the way to the bottom. So if you wish to pause this video, like I said, and copy these directly to your Facetrack Noir, or you can grab the daisy.ini file from the description and copy it into your Facetrack Noir settings directory, you should be able to select it from the drop down menu here and have those settings all ready to go. Then once you've done that, all you need to do is press start and it will map your face with some face tracking magic. There we go, we can see me looking around and it's tracking my jawline up to my eyes and my nose. And then once we jump into a game, it should work. We can see the box at the top. We find our dead zone, which is there, roughly center. There's going to be a little bit more delay than a normal track IR, as this is using the webcam. The better the FPS, the better the responsiveness will be. I'm using the Logitech HD Pro C920, as you can see on Track Noir. It tells you the webcam in there, which is a 60 FPS 1080p webcam, which should be pretty good. So we'll see how it goes. I'm expecting some delay, a little bit of desync maybe with my head movements, but we shall see. Let's go into DayZ. Okay, now we're in DayZ. We want to go to Configure, Controls, and Devices, and I think the Use X input is the Track IR, which should show up in game. On the old UI, it shows up as Track IR, and you just need to enable it. I believe this is the same thing. It just says X input, which is enabled. So once your Track IR or X input is enabled, join a server. It's, it's okay. It's different. I'm going to only turn in my head a little bit, and I can I can see behind me. I can also turn while I'm looking around because my mouse is separate now. I don't have to hold Alt to look around. I can use my head to look around, look down at my gun. There's a little bit of flickering. Don't know what that's all about. I've just walked into a tree. Okay, I can look up. I can look look at the beautiful sunny sky. I mean, I'd imagine a flight sim, maybe flying a helicopter or something would be pretty good. Being able to look around in a cockpit would probably work better than than a gun, maybe. I don't know, because it's, it's kind of throwing me off with, with aiming a little bit. don't know if any of you guys have tried this, but maybe a long stream with Facetrack Noir would, you know, potentially give us an opportunity to get some issues showing up, maybe. Uh, if I could get into a gunfight and see if it would throw me off in a battle. Because, I mean, my sight, I know I'm shaking quite a lot now. I'm out of breath a bit, but it's not, it's not too bad. It's not too bad, but I need to get a proper track IR to... to you know, see what the difference is. I'd imagine there's a massive difference. But, like I said, it's a free solution, or a cheap solution, at least if you've got a webcam already. It's, it could be free. Uh, depending on whether your webcam is supported, it, it should be good. It's something different to try. Uh, I should imagine it's stuff like Elite Dangerous, which I know it works on. It should be pretty fun looking around your cockpit uh, in your spaceship, but uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I like it in armor, to be honest. The idea is to get a little bit more immersed in, in games like Daisy, I guess. Um, I mean, the looking around a little bit is nice. I don't like the dead zone, but it's really hard to find your center again if you don't have a dead zone. Like, you can see it slow down and snap as it reaches that dead zone. There, you can see it snapping into the dead zone. So if I look right and then left, you can see it snap. That's the dead zone. It snaps to the dead zone. And that's dead center. And then we go left, right, snaps to the dead zone. And it should do the same for up and down as well out of the dead zone, in snaps, down, and it's back out. And we should still be centre. There we go, that's the centre dead zone. 
it's working okay. A little bit of time, I might get used to it, you know. But I know it's a decent webcam I'm using, so we should be pretty good. There's no stuttering. It's I'm, I'm picking up my head movement. It's just, there is definitely a delay. A little bit worried of, well, uh, of slouching. It makes you feel like you want to sit up a little bit more, a little bit straighter. To, to make sure you're, you're, you're not going to get your face track to untrack, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below if you've tried Face Track Noir or what you thought of the video. If you if you're looking into giving it a go, hopefully you don't run into any issues. I didn't have any issues really. It was just a case of googling some settings that I may have needed for Armor, which kind of transferred over to Daisy as well and Armor 2, etc. Miss um, Creator will be having Track IR support as well, the webcams and proper Track IR. So I'll be giving that a go as well, as soon as that's available, to see what it's like in this created. I may also do a video in Elite Dangerous. I've not tried it in a while, actually, so it might be good for me to go back and try some track IR in my spaceship. Should be fun. But yeah, for a cheap or free solution to track IR, it's worth giving a go, I think. There's some cows. Look at that. And there we are, just moving our head to watch the cows. That's pretty awesome, pretty immersive. Looking down at the edge of the stream there. Uh, uh, that, that flicker. I have no idea what that flicker is. That could be really off-putting. I'm gonna. Have to, maybe I've got a setting too too much, and it's like hitting a limit where I shouldn't be. And it's kind of. I don't know if you can see that. I, hopefully, it's coming through on the video. It should be. Anyway, let me know in the comments below, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful. And I brought some face track goodness to your to your faces, literally. And I'll see you peeps next time. Flicker, flicker. Yeah, it's not bad.